up, you smooth? I felt me something at the thrift store. I'm not telling you what store it is. This is where I get all my gold at. But this was something called a P3 back stretcher from Teeter. I got a lot of Teeter products, and this was something I would see online at different different i don't know like online like facebook craigslist but it never was in my area like certain areas got better stuff so anyway it was almost i think it was probably brand new i guess this is like a, a bag a teeter bag let me tell you right now i was sitting in the car a lot today and i also had a lot of stiffness in my back like i always say and i had stiffness in my hip i purposely didn't do anything to make it feel better to see if this is going to give me relief i didn't even try yet Usually I might try something and then give a review, but I really wanted to know how this was going to feel after I used it. Okay, so I don't think it's that hard. It's not rocket science to figure this out. I don't think. Okay, so came with a DVD. You know, black people don't read instructions. What's this? Warranty. You know, black people don't keep warranties. Second one. <laughs> it's in fresh in the bag though. Fresh in the bag. I paid six dollars. What is that? Six dollars? I don't know. Maybe they use it once or twice. I don't know. It looks brand new though. So let's see. Alright. Alright, before I even get to this real quick, let me see something. On the box it says. Hold on. The box says. Promotes alignment, strengthens ligaments, relieves nerve pressure, improves shock absorption, and range of motion. Uh, decompress, I'm saying a few minutes a day with P3 can help target the source of your ache and facilitate better health in all your weight bearing help, uh, joints. Decompress with the P3 to help relieve pain and reduce pressure. The gentle user controlled traction allows, you, allows joints to open, encouraging Realignment, rehydration of the vital nutrients and reduce pressure on nerves. Stretching every weight bearing joint from between the shoulder blades to the ankles. The P3 enhances cartilage nutrition and joint lubrication. Regular reverse loading of support structure that encases each joint can help increase ligament strength and improve flexibility and shock absorption, resulting in overall improving performance from golfing to gardening. So I guess there might be another. I'll do another one with a DVD if it's got something else that I don't know about. All right, so let's see if this is gonna be difficult. I see a piece of cardboard right here. I don't know if this matters. Okay, I see a button, so I'm taking it. I say something about fingers, so okay, I'm taking it. Okay, you gotta put your finger on here, then you let it flip out. Uh. Uh, okay, I think, oh, snap, all right, that did that, you caught that, all right, so this is like that, and this is the part I don't understand, is it supposed to be like this, maybe? <clears throat> okay, so basically, the ankles don't go over ankle to ankle one part is under your behind your calf and the other part is behind um in front of your foot but it looks like it's still supposed to be straighter than this so now i need to figure out i don't think it goes in this angle oh it does i'm wrong again it does the angle I, when you see it online you think that this goes straight down but it goes in the angle so i'm about to get on the floor i think i put it to the, the, the lowest length it can get uh, this is kind of weird. On the on theirs, I see theirs handles going a certain kind of way, like outward or something. Let me see. All right, let me see. Let me try this like this first. I'll figure it out. Then I'll come back. But I need to try this so bad. Ugh. The handles go up. Why are my handles sideways? Just give me one second. Let me see how the heck. How can this? Okay. 
There we go. It's supposed to be this way. Okay, so it comes up like that. Um, somewhere I thought this one, I thought the other one. Okay. The 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 uh the pieces when it's locking all the way down, it's behind it, and you want the handle to be like this. So you have to press it in and let it slide. All right. And I think is I see the that I see the person like laying on it. This is the weird part though. Now I gotta figure out this part. How the heck do you get your foot in this? I know y'all probably should have got the DVD. I mean, I probably should have got the DVD. It looked like it was easy when I was just looking, but now it's kind of okay. Maybe go like maybe like this. Maybe go like this. Side is feel like it's still locked or something. It's open. Okay, when you pull this little knob right here, it puts um, it, it pushes down. So you pull the knob from from there, and then you push down, and it locks in. So now my ankles are locked, and these are the handles. And now you're supposed to push. I'm not pushing it hard. Um, as I'm pushing, I do feel like it's not a strong push, but it could be because of where I got my handles right now. Like I don't have them low. I heard a little pop in my neck just now. So it is doing something to my spine. And I do feel like a little burn sensation down low. Pause <laughs> in my lower back. But I feel like a little burn. If you got back back problems, you know what I'm talking about. But I can feel it attempting to push my spine area. So this is the side that's tight. So let me see if I push down on this side. I'm feeling clicks in my lower back. And it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be easy. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm stretching. Somebody else that don't have a tight back, they might feel this. But I might have to sh um, make this pull a little shorter to get better leverage. But doing this, I do feel it. Um, the fact that my back is tighter, I feel it. So let me just shorten it one time. Let me put it. Where's the holes? Hold on. I'm, I'm just a screw. All right. All the, I think, you, you know, your bodies, you got to figure out the heights and all that. So I'm going to take it. Take it. Everybody's body is different, so I let it I let it go all the way up. Yeah, height and everything is gonna matter on how it's gonna feel. So I'm gonna go down one right here. Even though I'm tall, I got long arms. So like that. I'm gonna go down three. I went down three on both sides. Alright, so this part I realized you have to You have to uh, put your ankles in. I ain't gonna lie, this 
Let me see. Okay. That went down. All right. Let's try this again. Oh. All right. Now I'm putting it a little lower. And my cat making a box move, I think. Let me relax for a second. It, it it's giving me a stretch for sure, but I the way I, I guess because my body's wide, these don't go out go out as far as I thought they would go. These handles, they be they be having people that make you think that you're gonna have all this space. Let me see what the box look like. Push and stretch. Uh. It look like they get the skinniest models that be in these video in these little clips. If I, if I see something new about this, then I'll add that too. But if you look at the girl, she's a smaller girl and she could fit perfectly. They always get somebody to make their machine look bigger. This still is a good. This still is a good machine, but they do that like they get somebody that's small, skinny that can make the machine look like you can fit. You never see they fit no no big guys or you know. Uh, tall guys on their machines, they always somebody short and make it look right. But you know, I'm about six one and six two, and I'm not. When I'm doing this right here, the way I'm leaning, you can't never just do what they tell you to do. You got to figure out your own angles. But like right here, uh, the good thing is it's not because I got a burden table. It's not putting a lot of pressure on my ankles, but I could really just like lay here. And relax and feel like I'm getting a, a a stretch in my lower back area but I'd rather feel it more on the left side maybe if I put my left my neck to the left side let's see yeah I feel this I feel this Ugh. all right so If your back is minor and you need a little stretch, or you need a, if you already get the pop, this should give you, the, this should give you that little pop. It give me, it didn't give me the pop because you know my back is different. But let me stand up for y'all real quick. Ugh. See how I feel. I'm gonna watch the DVD for y'all, and I'll see what else is going on. Let me see. a little better you can't expect it to be a one-time one-time thing i do feel like a little something in my i feel looser it did loosen it up a little bit it's sad that you know my back is so tight but from right here you see you got to pull this it's hard to do right here but this thing just pretty much slides down and this part goes down and that part goes down and I guess you wrap it around like this this is definitely going to you know they say you can put something away you just definitely can go probably under a bed or something and then this part right here where the green button is um do tell you to be careful you put that in bang whoops I mean I'm wrong don't put it on top of the closet. You're going to bust somebody in the head with it. Because it's going to fall back open. <laughs> Hold on, let's see. Ah! I hurt my thumb. See? I was trying to squeeze it. I tried, I tried to squeeze it close. And I had my thumb right here. And that went right in my thumb. Just because of this button. So, bang. This opens it. This opens it. But when you want to close it, you got to move your fingers. Don't put your finger in the area to squeeze it. This has got to snap back. So, move your hand and just let it close on its own. And all right, uh, help me. It helped me. If I was probably a little warmed up and a little, little hot, like you know, warmed up, a little sweaty from doing something, act, some activity, it definitely helped. I did this on a on a dry body, but I definitely wanted to um see how it felt and all that. And while I'm here, I guess let me see how the bag is. 
If y'all want, we can watch the DVD together. So, you know, we like to fight another half an hour. But they come with this little Tita bag. Or a big Tita bag. Let's see how this going to go in here. It's bad corny though, I ain't gonna hold you. I think I got this joint in this bag from the Dollar Tree. Alright, yeah, so the the item is pretty good and it, I don't I don't maybe because I didn't pull the things down, so this bag is it probably a fit. It feels sturdy but it don't feel like nothing crazy. But you know you could